Hi everyone, I'm Jack Algier. I want to show you around the greenhouse here. We have all of our squashes curing. The winter squashes were harvested this past week. And before they go into our storage, we let them hang outside in the air and the, in the warmth of the greenhouse uh, to heal, basically so that all of their, uh, the cut vines dry out and the plants essentially compartmentalize and cure themselves so that the winter squash has a long life. Honey nut is a really wonderful old variety that really was developed in the 80s at Cornell University without a real market purpose. Um, and through some of the work uh, in our trials here and the restaurant trials at Blue Hill and the breeding work that's been done at Cornell with Mike Mazurik, we learned a lot. We actually learned about uh, how varieties can be bred for particular recipes. The inside of this is incredibly sweet and delicious, and it has very high sugar count, bricks counts. And we also learned about the market value of smaller squash. And the wonderful thing about winter squash is that when we grow these or cross them or do anything, when we save the seed, we can actually eat the fruit, kind of like a tomato. If we, we can save the seeds from the actual plants that we like the best, and we can taste them to give it a better evaluation. Uh, rather than a lettuce where we don't have the opportunity to taste that lettuce before it goes to seed and we save it. So in this case, um, we'll choose the ones that we really like, we'll open them up, we'll cook them, and we'll hold those seeds aside and after we taste them, we can decide which ones to go back and save the seeds from. Um, honey nut is an open pollinated variety which means when we cross it with itself, we can save that seed and it will continue to be honey nut. Uh, butterscotch is another really wonderful variety that Johnny's is offering as a hybrid. This is a delicious award-winning butternut that's much more like what we're used to, but again meets kind of these higher sugar and uh, quality criteria. We have a lot of others to show you here. Um, staying on the sort of small front, one thing we've been doing is trying out lots of different little kabocha type. A small fruit, especially when it comes to winter squash, is actually really nice because you can really enjoy the entire thing. Uh, this is a green and a gray kabocha, respectively, that are being trialed on the market now. And this is a pink soft-skinned kabocha that's called Pinky. We've been really interested in making crosses over the past many years. We'd like to do a lot of our own seed saving along with also trialing varieties from other people. So this is one of our selections here. Buttercup type squashes and we can cross into acorn squashes and get kind of mixes of the both. Acorns and uh, buttercups and delicatas and pumpkins are all part of a family called Peppo. We're really happy to see some different things. Some of them came out kind of looking like a pumpkin. Others came out uh, with, with different colorations on them. And really, we choose partially by the, how well the plant grows in the field, if it has natural disease resistance, if it's producing a good yield of, of vegetables, of, of squash. But of course, we look for the aesthetic and we look for the flavor at the end. So we're in the process now of choosing the ones we really like aesthetically and then we'll do a selection, test them, and then save the seeds from them. This is now our third year working with these and we're continually uh, finding a, a pathway kind of through all the different progeny that come out of our crosses. So we, we find that working with winter squashes is uh, uh, really valuable to us and very interesting. So we hope that when you're on the farm, you walk around and see some of the different varieties we have while they're curing before they get put away in bins for the winter and uh, doled out through the markets.